Yeah. There's Looper once again. We called it a new and improved ACC off the top of the broadcast. Clemson trying to move their way up into maybe that middle tier. In this new 6-2, the Danny Busboom Kelly is utilizing this season along with Ellie Glock as the setter. Clemson unable to keep that alive and give the points to Louisville. PK, that's a tough ball to turn into a kill. Here's Looper on the right side this time. And she is picking up exactly where she left off on Sunday. Connection here, the tempo. This is not a high ball. Looper's able to speed up behind Quebec. So Camden Trand will have the honors to serve here. Oh, what a denial. And it's Kara Cressy. Who else for Louisville? From Kara Cressy, she's right on this 31 run by Indigo. That is hitting over 300. Second behind Hannah Sherman in hitting percentage thus far. Looper, was it deflected? It was. To stop Charity Looper. That one off the hands of Scott Looper into the first row of the seats to keep it alive. The swing from Kate Hansen for Clemson. What does show up in the stat sheet, also two aces for her tonight as she takes aim from behind the service line. Here's Looper again, who's been the offensive star for Louisville today. Looper might have had the block there, and it results in a Louisville point. The Louisville on a 3-0 run after they had a 5-0 run earlier in the set. Closing in on a comfortable opening set victory this time. Two on the Louisville side and two on the Clemson side. Was that one touched by Louisville fingertips? It was for Texas Tech with 99 blocks transferring into Clemson this offseason. Scott and Looper were both calling for that ball. However, I feel, still think Coach Kerr would be satisfied with their serving with the three aces to four airs. Just a little tip there from Hansen, keeping Louisville off balance. Maldonado Diaz with the swing. And again. And that was him. And we talked about Elena Scott. This isn't just a second ball. This is a to go high off the block, to go sharp cross, or to take that tough swing down the line. Maldonado Diaz twice. Honorable mention all Pac-12 in her time at Arizona. Bolstering this Louisville attack this season. Towards the end of this set, but the Louisville defense is doing a great job of picking those balls up and kind of turning them into free ball offense. See one there, and it results. And that's in. It's an ace to end the first set from Charity Looper. And vice versa. You're able to take a few more risks as a blocker when you know that defense is behind you. There's Reese Robbins. Another attack error for her. A little bit of a cooler start to this match than she would have hoped for, the sophomore. Opens things up on the pin with those multiple hitting options. Here is Hajira Japovich. And Looper is sent back by Yoki. With a little dance in celebration as well. That's one way to stop Japovich. Here's Looper, another block for Clemson. Kate Hansen, the 6'3 sophomore. This Tech with 99 blocks last year. The Clemson bench certainly the louder voice right now between the two benches. Here's Anna DeBeer trying to quiet that Clemson bench. And a real chance here for Louisville. They go to PK and it's another block for Clemson. Louisville with three blocks in the first set, Clemson with none. Then Clemson out of the gates in the second set with three blocks at the first block of the second set for Louisville. Here's Hansen who's had that big hand defensively with the blocks, this time with the kill.
Brewster doing a good job being creative here with the offense. Hansen going behind the setter as the middle. Just a spectacular dig for Scott, number 12, all ready for her tonight. Maldonado Diaz had to go with two hands there. The pass just not quite where she wanted initially. Bump set from Scott to De Beer. Now Hansen. And this would qualify, I think, as an extended rally, which is what Clemson needs in this one. And they need more of that as well. Here's Daly. And Maldonado Diaz with the kill. Clemson back in front. 17 to 16. Can Louisville get going here offensively? It's Cressy looking to do it here. And the swing from Mia McGrath on the Clemson left side. Maldonado Diaz, the soft touch. And seemingly Sophia Maldonado Diaz pulling that out of her bag when Clemson least expected it there. To tie it at 17. Sent back by De Beer. And Arm Brewster was blind to this set. It's behind her, and it ended up into a double block. For the Tigers. Hasn't recorded an ace yet this year. Had just seven service attempts coming into this match. Here's Cressy with power. It's a 6-2, but on this service seed, Robin stays in front, and Cressy's able to go off one foot. Kate Hansen on the season hitting 241. A bit below that tonight, but her kills have been so well timed. Here's Anna DeBeer with a kill that is so well placed into the back corner. Just Arm Brewster with a better percentage, only on one attempt with one kill. And look for Cabello here to go to DeBeer to finish the set. Looper does so well. And that falls on Louisville's side of the net. But rely on people like Anna DeBeer in the front row to finish the set when you need it. Cardinals a point away. And they have it now. Jackie Simpson here. Quick to her feet. And then Louisville looking to remain unblemished against unranked foes and also unblemished in ACC play. They would go to 3-0 and if they can win this match. Already up two sets to none, but for the third consecutive set, it's the opening point to the Clemson Tigers. And I think that was a slight eye roll from Danny Busboom Kelly <laughs> after right, receiving so. that explanation as well. Can we go back to your well. wife comment earlier, right? <laughs> right? There's Anna DeBeer. Aspect of this match, Steph. Top two teams in digs in the ACC statistical categories. Louisville plus 18 digs. Here's Charity Looper to serve. Who does Clemson turn to when they need some kind of response? And we've seen Clemson move daily around tonight. She's played some on the left side, some on the right. It's only 7.30. Maybe not bedtime just yet for some of those youngsters, but... Getting close on a Friday night. Louisville getting close to a sweep, at least closer than they were. Stuff that doesn't necessarily show up on the stat sheet. I think Hansen has played a really solid match, staying disciplined on the block, doing the right things. Hansen's four blocks twice this season. She's had five or more. Very close to having a third such game under her belt here in 2024. There is some smooth-looking offense for the Clemson Tigers. She's come up clutch in key times down the stretch. Third year in the program for McGrath has been a regular player since year one. Had over 200 kills as a freshman. And had a stretch earlier this season where she went 8 of 9 with 10 or more kills. All in a row. Another point to Clemson, though. To put her... At triple zeros in the hitting percentage. Cabello couldn't keep that one alive, diving into the scorer's table. 
Still have a chance to take something off Louisville here in set number three. Trailing by three. De Beer thought she had one there. Here's Maldonado Diaz. And Reigns has to bump it over. De Beer again. Match. Do we see her elevation on this? Full approach, full swing right in the... Having a superstar's performance tonight, 11 and 11, along with three blocks. And there is a block for Louisville again. Started the match off by talking a ton about their defense, but it is so much more fun. Percentage for Anna DeBeer up at 571. An incredibly efficient evening for her coming into this match on the season, hitting sub 200. Yoki off the hands of the Louisville block. De Beer again. Look at Camden Trand flying to the floor. And a block. Look at Trand though with the effort. And great, that's the trust this Louisville team has in reach and cover herself on that play and give Shrand the runway to confidently dive and get that ball up. Cards two points away from a sweep, make it one point away from a sweep. And we've talked about Anna DeBeer has had days where she struggled down the stretch and she focuses more on defense and server seat. For a player like Reese Robbins, blocking is her out when she struggles offensively. And that's it. Louisville sweeps Clemson aside.